Many Magic the Gathering players ask the question, is it worth it to buy a 2021 Arena Starter Kit? And if so, which 2021 Arena Starter Kit? 2021 sees not one, but two redesigned starter kits hitting the market, with one available exclusively on Amazon and the other at your local game store and big box store. Well, I'm here to tell you that despite different packaging and different foil face cards, these two different arena starter kits are actually exactly the same, only with a few subtle but ultimately meaningless differences. Uh, wait, I can explain. Both starter kits have identical deck lists, as well as identical arena redemption codes, game walkthrough cards, rules inserts, etc. The only, and I want to stress the only difference, is that the Amazon exclusive arena starter kit comes with Mind Flayer and Oran Reef Ooze as the foil face cards, and the game store and big box store exclusives come with Dragon's Guard Elite and Cyclone Summoner as the their foil face cards. Again, deck lists are identical, so the Amazon exclusive does have Cyclone Summoner and Dragon's Guard Elite, but they are not in foil. Just as the starter kits that are found at your local game store do have Iran Reef Ooze and Mind Flayer, but in those, they are not foil. So it's just different cards within the identical decks that are the foil face cards. And for some reason, the Amazon one has a blue box. As with last year's impressive redesign, the Arena starter kit is aimed at brand new players as both a learn to play experience as well as an onboarding path to begin your Magic the Gathering collection. The starter kits come complete with two 60 card decks, again, each with a foil, 10 rares total between the two decks, and best of all, a code to redeem the complete 120 card collection on Magic Arena. That code card is pretty nifty just by itself. It grants you both 60 card decks, so 120 cards on Arena, a referral to the online tutorial, which, while not 100% perfect, is still the best way for a brand new player to be guided through the game without the help of an in-person friend, and best of all, the 120 redeemed Arena cards match the 120 cards you get in the starter kit. Exactly. Now I can confirm that the code card is in both versions, so whether you buy the starter kit from Amazon or at your local game store or at a big box store like Target or Walmart, you're going to get one of these inside and it is fantastic. Fantastic. You can redeem this on Magic Arena for both 60 card decks. So it's giving you 120 cards on Arena, as well as a referral to the online tutorial, which, while not 100% perfect, is still, I feel, probably the best way for a brand new player to be guided through the game. Certainly if that brand new player doesn't have the help of a friend in person. And best of all, those 120 redeemed Arena cards, those two decks, they match the two decks that you get in the physical product. Exactly. I cannot stress how vital and important that match is. It means that while a new player practices against the Arena AI or tries a few casual games against others, they'll be using the same decks that they'll use when they play against their friend or partner in person, in paper. It's an exact one-to-one, -one, a perfect bridge between digital and paper, making sure no matter the player, from digital only to paper only to some someone who enjoys both, that this product is relevant and worthwhile. Assuming, of course, that you are brand new to the game. Gee, why doesn't every single Paper Magic the Gathering product come with a code for a one-to-one -one digital redemption? Mm. That's right, because once you're hooked, you'll just buy it twice. Well, first one's free. I, I mean, I guess it's not free free, but it's very affordable. At an MSRP of, wow, $12.49, it's hard to complain. That's half the cost of a single collector booster pack, after all. And this has 120 cards in paper and on Arena. I mean, 120 cards is 20 cards more than you get buying a commander deck. Uh, that's another thing. What's more, last year we saw arena starter decks getting quick markdowns at physical stores. I remember a LGS near me selling theirs for $9.99 each, 
and I heard targets went even lower. While there's no guarantee that will happen this year, it's hard to argue that this is one of Magic's least expensive products. So what does that 1249 or potentially less in the future get you? Now there's nothing too splashy in the deck contents. Keep in mind these are meant as starter decks. Dragon's Guard Elite is 48 cents, though if it's the face card, it's probably going for just under a dollar. Whereas Aran Reef Ooze is 50 cents, though if it's the foil face card, that bumps it up to uh, 75 cents. Nothing too majestic there. Cyclone Summoner, 20 cents or 40 cents if it's the face card. Mind Flayer, 31 cents or 60 cents if it's the face card. Honestly, the two best cards in here are Asmodeus the Archfiend at a dollar and Archmage Emeritus at two dollars. I know Wizards of the Coast never knows which cards are going to be more valuable than others with the new set. It is too bad these weren't the face cards, perhaps on both. As again, last year we did have that nice foil veto. I know the goal isn't to entice existing players with high value cards, but I do feel even for a new player, it's nice to walk away with something kind of splashy, something that maybe is going to stick with you in your potential future standard deck or be a nice item to look back in the trade binder. If the thesis of this product is for new players to have a starting point, then it really succeeds. For a very low price, you end up with two full decks. Yes, it is mostly commons in these. So as before, it's a little stingy on the contents and power, but 120 cards for $12.49 is a solid product to steer a brand new player towards, and that bridge to Magic Arena, and most importantly, I feel Magic Arena's tutorial system means that new players, especially new players who don't have a friend in person to show them how to play, can start to pick up the basics of the game, have a source to play, and when they do maybe find someone in person who wants to learn as well or already plays. They've got two paper decks. It's a real brilliant product. Yeah, I'd maybe re-examine including singleton rares because I like a consistent experience. Digging for that one rare finisher, eh, not ideal, but that's a very minor quibble. But I really don't think financial value is important at all in examining these decks because the thesis of them isn't about financial value. If you're looking at a Masters or other reprint set, a pre-constructed deck that needs to be able to play against other decks in an established format or meta, then yeah, the cards inside of them, their power levels, and subsequently their value is highly relevant. But here, this product is meant to take a person who has never played Magic the Gathering before or is otherwise starting from scratch, get them up and running with decks that they can play, and a source for learning the game. And in those areas, it excels. My only issue here, as I've spoken about in other videos, is that since the decks are almost entirely commons, yes, having 10 rares between the two of them is nice, but it's singleton rares, and those commons that make up the deck, I feel make for a slower or more dirtily experience, whereas multiple rares and better consistency makes for better gameplay in my evaluation, and yes, that is relevant for new players. I want to show them a real game of Magic, a fun and in some ways, not sluggish game. Now, I'm not saying the decks are terrible, far from it. In fact, I think that out of all of the new player products that Wizards of the Coast has ever made, the Arena Starter Kits are some of, if not the very best, even if you ignore that Arena Digital Redemption code. So how does this compare to some of the other options out there for brand new players? Deck Builders Toolkits have been put on hiatus, which is what Wizards of the Coast does to products instead of outright canceling them now, but there are no more Deck Builders Toolkits coming out, nor are there plans, as far as I can tell. While there is a sentimental loss here, I don't think it's a bad one. The idea behind Deck Builders Toolkits was often better than the execution. I know a lot of players liked to pick them up as a way to get a bunch of cards in one, but they started getting more expensive and less important in terms of their contents, and I'd rather tell a brand new player just pick up an arena starter kit and maybe half a dozen booster packs to begin upgrading that deck. Too bad those booster packs don't come with arena codes, but that's another video. The only other option really for brand new players would be rookie decks, which are put together by a sponsor of this channel, Card Kingdom. Rookie decks are very cheap at $5.99 each. 
Purchasing two of them is the same as the Arena Starter Kit. It's a third-party product, there's no online redemption code, but these two are 60-card decks, and they are constructed with more of an emphasis on three and four ofs, play sets. You're gonna get more rares, potentially. They're each isolated within a single color, and they focus on a singular key mechanic spread out throughout those cards. And I think that is better for new players, because I have seen new players get overwhelmed when there's all of these keywords, all of these mechanics. And the rookie deck, which I've taught a lot of people to play with at this point, are very straightforward. They're really good, especially too, for kids. Now, I've got a more detailed review on them, but with the discontinuation of Deck Builder's toolkits, it's pretty much the only viable option out there at this price range. Those toolkits were still in production, and even with the existence of those rookie decks, that code for digital redemption in the Arena Starter Kit is just so hard to beat. One of the issues with the Deck Builders toolkits is that if you are new to the game and you bought one, it's certainly fun to open up and get some packs and maybe put a deck together, but then what? At Friday Night Magic, people are either drafting or playing standard, and your friend who already plays might have a standard deck, or if they don't play, they don't have anything you can play with, as that toolkit pretty much got one deck together. Whereas with the Arena Starter Kits, you and a friend can sit down and play immediately, you can ask someone to show you the ropes at your local game store, and if you do lack another person, that's where that digital redemption code comes in, the Arena tutorial takes you through it, it really knocks the competition out of the water. Final conclusion. Arena Starter Kits remain one of the best ways for a brand new player to learn Magic the Gathering. If you already play Magic the Gathering, there is very little value or interest here, although it's low price still cements this is a good tool to have in your arsenal for teaching friends to play. Being able to get two playable 60-card decks, both in paper and digital, as well as a referral to the Magic Arena online tutorial, cements this as the best product for someone 100% new to the game to pick up. I do wish there was a bit more of a splashy card along the lines of last year's Foil Veto, and gameplay is a bit slower and dirtily than I might prefer, due again to those singleton rares and the decks being made up mostly of commons. But regardless, those issues aside, but regardless of those issues, they're really minor in all honesty, and this is an A- product. And it remains my current number one pick as a starting point for players new to the game. I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. You can help me out immensely just by remembering to subscribe, leaving a comment, and especially, especially by sharing with a friend. How did you get started in Magic the Gathering, and do you think that that experience can be replicated? Let me know in the comments below. Who are you? Don't you recognize me? Elspeth? No, I'm Death. Come on, the channel hasn't been doing that badly. People just didn't care about adventures in the Forgotten Realms.